It's almost time to party like it's 1979. The Toledo Walleye showing off their Toledo Gold Digger throwback unis they'll wear next month as part of Hockey Heritage Weekend. For those of you under the age of 30, the Gold Diggers were Toledo's minor league hockey team in the 70s and 80s. If you'd like more information, watch the movie Slapshot on the Gold Diggers. It's not really on the, about the Gold Diggers, it's kind of like it. Or find Jim Tishy. We found the voice of walleye hockey, Matt Melzak, earlier this week, and he talked about this weekend's three games in three days. Three and three in Kansas City, and you know what Kansas City is looking at, man, we got hammered Saturday. Mm -hmm. And you know, they, are, they haven't played since Saturday. So that's the game they're gonna be thinking about all week long yeah. leading up to Friday night. Friday night is probably gonna be the strongest we're gonna see Kansas City come at Toledo. It's probably gonna be right away Friday night. They're gonna be physical, they're gonna be tough. Uh, they're going to come right after Toledo on Friday. That's going to be a that's going to be a tough weekend. And then off, I uh, flip the script all the way over to Reading, Pennsylvania, right. one of your favorite spots. <laughs> uh, I think they still have the statue there for Eric Halbert <laughs> in Reading, it. PA. Yes, get the bus. Uh, yeah, get yeah. that fired up yeah. there. And then you know what? You play one game in Reading, and then you got to turn around, and get right back on a bus, seven hours to get up to Brampton, yeah. going through Buffalo. Who knows with weather? Snow, yeah. That could be a lot longer than that uh, when when it's all said and done to play Friday at Brampton and then come right back home on the weekend and play Brampton the next night. So not an easy trip coming up, but the, the positives of it is you've been home now since the 31st. So you've had a lot of time to be in your own area, be comfortable. You haven't had to go through the travel. And then after we get back there, there is a break there a little bit. The whole next week until Saturday, you don't play. So uh, there is some silver linings to it. It just happens that it's all crammed in very close. And, and once again, uh, you know, with, with this last three and three at home, the crowds, the people we talk about, it, I mean, to lay up for us, we say, oh, Toledo people are great, but you're on the road. It's not like that in other arenas. It really is. And, I, I, you know, now we're going to go into Kansas City where they draw very well. They just have a smaller building. They only hold a little over 5,000, but they will have a good crowd over the weekend, most likely Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We'll see. Uh, but, you know, you start going into some of the places and, and we're going to see a lighter attendance, I would guess, on, on Wednesday. And, in Reading and, and then Brampton as well. Uh, that's why the players talk about it an awful lot. When the crowd is into it, you don't think about the fact that it's your third game in three days. You're tired, uh, you know, maybe mentally. You've still got energy because of the fact that the fans are into it. They're making a lot of noise and, and Toledo people do it better than anybody.